to remind us of the Easter story, how Jesus Christ gave and gave and gave. He showed a total opposite principle to the principle that we see working in the natural world where we see greed seems to be good, survival of fittest, if you get it, you're going to move ahead. Well, why would anyone follow Jesus if his principles are different to what we see in the natural world? We've got Sarah Jane, Bishop, Hi. welcome to the day, and Ben Ray. G'day. Yeah, thanks for coming. And we're going to ask Sarah the hard question first. We're going to say, hey, Sarah, given we're in a, uh, you know, it's a dog eat dog world, mm -hmm. greed is a good world. There's no argument. If you really struggle and strive for something beyond where you are now, you're going to get a benefit. Why would anyone follow Jesus who gave and gave and gave? I think a lot of the time the world appears to be that way and something that's different, it's an alternative lifestyle coming to Jesus. I moved from a job where I was getting paid quite a bit and as much as you get paid quite a bit and that tries to motivate you, it's okay, I'm getting paid, okay. I'm getting paid. If you're not happy and you don't have that inner fulfillment, okay. then you're never going to be happy with money. So it's that alternative. Of Hang the on, joke. so you've taken a step backwards in terms of well, Wall Street. That may, it depends how you view it. I guess that was my dad's initial reaction too. Oh my gosh, you're oh, taking okay. a step backwards. It's not about that at all. Okay. It's, yeah, it's about so much more than that. And yeah. what, you know, what, is, what do you value? If you value money, yeah. then... Okay, so how does following Jesus work for you? Um, it, it's, oh, it's so many things. It's a safety net. It's self-fulfillment. It's being able to aim higher than you ever thought you would be able to aim. Uh, it's doing things you never thought you'd be able to do before. It's so much more because it's not my strength and my ability. It's God's ability in me. Oh, so God helps you along the way? Oh, definitely. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's ask Ben the point, okay? Because Ben's going to help us out here. Ben, uh, greed is good. Why would anyone follow God? Well, I think that there might be a healthy, reasonable sort of greed, if you want to use that word. Okay. I follow God personally because I get good things from following God. Mm -hmm. So I get eternal life. Mm -hmm. I get purpose in my life. Mm -hmm. And these are, these are good things. I like living. I like being okay. alive. I want to keep on living. Okay. So that's a big deal. And so <laughs> why not? <laughs> so if, if you don't have the, the, the full uh, ability to be completely unselfish, even if you're living on this natural world the way things naturally go, following God makes sense. It has. It works for me. It does. <laughs> now, if you ever had a time that you didn't follow God? Um, I was brought up in a Christian home, mm. and I guess all the way through my life I had to make my own decision as I went along. Is this a decision that I wanted to make? Mm -hmm. And so I guess at critical points as I was a teenager and getting older, I realised this is I've got a choice here, and I chose to follow God, and I've just reaped the benefits from it. Okay, so there is a God kind of ambition. Hmm. Sarah kind of said it was a godly kind of greed. I think, <laughs> Did I get that right? No, I didn't oh, say no. greed at all. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> Sorry. No, having an ambition that's God-driven. Ah, God-driven ambition. Yeah. Okay. And so a God-given amb ambition is where you're going to love. So that's what Heather spoke about. Yeah, you love somebody she spoke else about here. it earlier. Yeah, yeah okay. definitely. Okay. Okay, I better be careful not to put words in Sarah's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> but back to Ben then. Ben, thinking about it? When you can't boil it down to the absolute crunch, yes. whether you're selfish or you're unselfish, it makes sense to follow Jesus. That's right. I think that you're supposed, we're supposed to look after ourselves, yeah. but also do good to others. And I don't think that's being greedy in a bad way. Okay. 